Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to shed some light on the psychological problem, not the problem, but psychological strength, I would say. It is part psychological, part hormonal, but this concept known as reptilian complex, or in short, it is known as R complex, is given by Dr. Carl Sagan. One of the best scientists of America, who died at a very early age, very premature age of around 52 by cancer. He was, he was one of the best scientists and I always loved him. He said that if you don't have an R complex or reptilian complex, the complex of the crocodile or complex of the cobra, python, if you don't have that kind of complex, you cannot achieve anything in your life. If you're sluggish, if you're laid back, you're lazy, you're slow, you, you are you know, skeptic about everything, you have doubts about every single thing, you are naysayer, you don't get up all in the morning, you don't have any kind of enthusiasm or any kind of complex, then you don't have reptilian complex. You are missing the reptilian complex and you are not high achiever, you are B type or type B. You are not type A, you are type B. Very sluggish, very low achiever. You really, you really don't uh, actually make, you know, the mega progress in your life. I'm not saying this all things, but Dr. Carl Sagan, one of the best American scientists saying this thing, who set up agency named SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. He was studying on extraterrestrial entities and made lots of progress. He was very famous, he was very renowned, a very known and totally and defeated scientist is saying that if you don't have our complex, you are nothing. You are redundant, you are obsolete, you are useless. As a matter of fact, he actually coined this our complex for Chinese people. Then he was asked frequently, and he reiterated frequently, what is the reason the Chinese are actually making such a meteoric, skyrocketing, astronomical progress? He always answered that, Chinese people have are complex. I have actually created four different kinds of points to elaborate what is our complex and what the people with our complex can do, how you can recognize this kind of people and what kind of people are those who do not have our complex or affiliate complex. Point number one is it is the boost of adrenaline making us uniquely aggressive. Reptilian complex means it's not anything else but it's our adrenaline hormone. Adrenaline are known as the hormone of aggression. Person who is aggressive, person who is high achiever, person who works day in and day out, person who never gets tired, he's a tireless person. He doesn't have fatigue. He doesn't have any kind of jadedness, but he works day in and day out like a machine. That person is full of adrenaline. They say adrenaline are kind of hormones that if a woman, if a mother finds her kid stuck under the wheel of the car, she can actually lift up the car, lift up the car and save her child, thanks to adrenaline. And the Carl Sagan has said that Chinese people are deplete. They're loaded, they're full of adrenaline, and that is why they are so aggressive. That is why they can work from dawn to dusk and beyond. They are on the toe 24 hours a day. They are on the toe 24 7, 365, tirelessly, because they have all complex or loss of adrenaline. Number two, Chinese are. Dragons with alpha level of our complex, according to Dr. Carl Sagan. 
It is called Shagan, who has given this uh, all complex uh, kind of title, or uh, we can say this kind of this kind of subject to, to Chinese people. The Chinese people are full of all complex. He has said the Chinese people are such that if they actually sink their teeth in anything in the universe, whole universe cannot to set it free. Meaning. Chinese people decide to become a doctor. Chinese people decide to become a millionaire. Chinese people decide to be in the politics. Chinese people decide to be professor. They become. They become by hook or by crook. They never let their goal go. I wish we had this kind of our complex Indian people. So we can actually compete with the world in general and compete with China in particular. So what you need is our complex. Point number three is our complex makes us type A and mega achiever. This complex makes us type A type of people. We are mega achiever. These kind of people are never satisfied, unsatiable, invincible. They started out to become a millionaire, but they did not stop when they become millionaire. But now they are moving ahead. Chasing the goal of a billion dollar. Now they are going for billion billion dollar. They want to become billionaire. Once they have become billionaire, they would like to go for multi billionaire. They are the kind of people that to Shikha Prahlad they say complacency kills. They are never complacent. They are always incomplacent. They are never satisfied, but insatiable type of people. They don't have. Appetite, but they have hostera. They have bulimia for success, bulimia for box, bulimia for wealth, bulimia for jackpot, bulimia bonanza, and bulimia for El Dorado. These are the movers and the shaker people. They are the head and the shoulder people in the world. They don't have anything new, or they are not. Any way different from us? Only the difference is that they have our complex, reptilian complex, and we are without reptilian complex. So we are underlings. They are alpha. We are epsilon. They have leadership syndrome. We have followers syndrome. That's only the difference that our complex is missing. Number four, Alexander the Great's prediction: Chinese are veritable dragons. When Alexander the Great was coming to India, he actually crisscrossed from China. He found the people and、uh, jotted down in his、uh, diary that I was passing through China and I found very strange thing. The Chinese people are right now in the stupor. In the they are intoxicated by the opium. Every Chinese used to use opium, but they, but he said Alexander the Great has said that when they are going to wake up, they are definitely going to move the whole world by waggling their tail. They are the dragons. Dragon blood was given to Chinese by Alexander the Great. He said they are right now in in a very composed. Status because of the influence of the opium, but when they are going to come out of, of, of influence of opium or emerge out of the intoxication of opium, they are going to move their tail, just wag their tail, and they are going to move the world. They are definitely they have definitely moved the world by just wagging their tail. Today the whole world is controlled by China. Chinese are. Ahead of every other nation, including almost ahead of America, everybody is predicting that. Given ten more years, China is going to be number one, numero uno, second to none in the world, and、uh, China is going to surpass America ten years from now. Everybody believes, except me. I don't believe in that kind of garbage. It's all garbage. Is it those people who want to create some kind of uproar in the market by writing some kind of book? You have to write a controversial book. People are going to read. 
if you're going to write a book praising that God is there and God is doing every single thing and the God is very merciful and the God is very, very helpful and the God's blessings are on us, nobody is going to read. That's it is everything is there in Bible, Quran, Gita. But if someone is going to write that God is dead, God doesn't do anything, God is obsolete, God doesn't listen, God doesn't exist, then everybody is going to read. Every single person is going to read the book. So the authors are very smart. That's why they are author. They always write something extraordinary and not ordinary. Controversial, very controversial, very, con- very much. Creating all kinds of uproar, all kinds of commotion in the literary world. So, same thing is there. Those people who are writing China is going to be number one. These people are actually seeking attention. They are starving for attention. They are starving for the audience to read and the readers to read their book. But fact is absolutely distant from there. Distinct from there, there's no fact. I mean, there's no fact, all fake, all hoax. The China is going to be ahead of America within the next 10 years. It will never going to happen. Not 10 years, but not even 100 years. But nevertheless, Chinese people have lots of our complex, and that is why they have been actually going ahead of small, minuscule, ordinary nations. Quotidian nation, they are actually getting ahead of them. But getting ahead of America is a totally different ball game that China has not learned yet. So that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for listening. See you again next time. Until then, God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.